All right, my friends, so today we're doing a short little video, and this one is in regards to simply just moving and copying files. And for a lot of you, this may be something that you do a lot of, or maybe you don't do much, but if you are interested in it all, organizing, uh, moving and copying files can be really important. So we're gonna show you a couple ways here to do that. So we have on the computer right now a few things. So we have a couple external hard drives, you can see that, anything that's kind of looks like these yellow drives, or this is a time machine, so we're not gonna to touch the time machine drive, but anything on these, we have an SD card, of course, plugged in. And if we come all the way down to our finder, which looks like the little happy face guy in the bottom here, when you click that, you will also have, of course, access to all your drives, okay? Now, there's a few things that you may or may not be able to see. Number one is you may not see your main drive on here. Uh, that is something that we'll talk about later when we get into an actual organizing video. But um, right now we're going to talk about just, just the basics of moving. Okay, so number one, we have, we have our SD card right here. And I'm going to double click on it so that it opens. And of course, we can open these up and we can see files inside here, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Now, if we want to, and again, we want to remember the difference between these two words. There's move and then there's copy. Copy, of course, leaves the original where it was and puts a copy where it's going. So at the end of it, you'll have the same file in two different spots, where it originated from and where it was going. A move, very different because it takes the file from where it was and puts it where it was going. So at the end of a move, we still only have one file. It's just in a new spot. So there's a few things that we can do. Number one, and I'll, ta I'll take this, just this file right here. It doesn't really matter which file it is. Actually, we'll do this one because it's smaller. So this, and you have to remember, it, it also has to do really with the originating location, so where it starts from, as well as where it's going, because it plays a big role. So right now, we're going from an external device, so an SD card, and we're gonna move it to the internal hard drive of this computer. So we're gonna put it on the desktop, which again is the hard drive inside this machine. So think about it, we're taking it from this drive and putting it on this drive. So two different drives. So when I take this file and I drag it, you'll automatically see a little plus. There's a little plus beside the arrow. And that plus means that it's gonna be a copy. So if I let this go, you actually see it was really fast, but it's here now on my desktop. There you go, copying, right? And it says copying. As soon as that finishes, right? The file is still where it was. And it's also right here. So it didn't delete it from its original location. So let's delete this and that's a highlight and then we hit our command and delete. This time we're gonna do the exact same thing. Now when we bring it down here, before we let go of our mouse, right? We're gonna come down and we're gonna hold the command key on our keyboard, the command key. So you guys will be able to see that right here. It's right beside, hopefully you guys can see that. It's the one either to the left or right of the space bar. Okay, so we're gonna hold that down. I want you to watch the plus sign when you do it. So when you hit that plus or that command key, you'll see the plus disappear. You let it go, the plus comes back. You push it again, the plus comes back. So we can look here and realize, okay, so if I let it go, I get the plus, which means it's a copy. If I hold this down, the plus sign goes away, which means it's a move. So now when I click and let this go, you'll see this now says, moving and that original file ready gone because it moved it from the SD card to the internal drive so the one thing I want you guys to realize here and this is a big one when we're doing any moving or copying from one drive it doesn't mean doesn't matter if it's a hard drive or an SD card or a USB stick from one drive to a physically different drive so you one USB to another USB, an SD card to the internal drive. The default is a copy. So if you don't hold anything down, you just pull, it's a copy. If you hold the command key down, it changes into a move. But the biggest thing is to look at that plus, okay? Now, I'm gonna close this 
Okay, and we have that file we just made. It's on the desktop. So now I'm gonna open up my documents folder. Okay, here's my documents folder. And this time I'm gonna take that same file and, and bring it here. And you'll see, you'll see no plus, which means that we are moving from the same drive to the same drive, just a different area of the same drive. And you'll notice that it defaults now to a move. So when you're going from one drive to one drive, it kind of says, why would you want the same file twice on the same drive? So it moves it, okay? So again, if we let this go, it's pretty much instantaneous, pop, okay? Because it really doesn't change or have to rewrite the file. It just kind of changes and tells the computer, well, we'll just put it here now. It says, okay, so we're gonna undo that. So command Z to undo. Always remember that command Z, because if we ever screw up, the easiest way to undo what we just did is command Z to undo it. Now we're gonna take that same file over here, and guess what? This time it changes, actually. It's not the command key anymore. And I'm not sure why they've done this, but when we move from one drive to another, it's the command key. And when we want to copy on the same drive, it's the option key. So watch, we hold the option key, there's that plus symbol, right? So now I can say I want to copy it because I, I do want it here and here for whatever reason, it doesn't really matter, okay? So you have that ability now to be able to, to copy that. Now I'm gonna undo that again, that disappears. Now the other thing, just as a kind of little advanced feature or a little bit of a helper, Sometimes you and I, you know, we, I'm going to put this on my desktop. Okay. And we want it in the documents and we want it in, I don't know what we'll say my Insta 360 folder. Okay. So I start this and I'm like, Oh, I'm not in the right folder. So if we actually come over here and put it on top of that and just hover, you'll see it automatically open it. And if I come here, just hover, it automatically opens it. So now you can just kind of let it go. So the big thing to remember, if you're going from drive A to drive B, the default is a copy. You hold your command key down to turn it into a move. If you are taking a file from the same drive to another location on the same drive, the default is a move. And if you hold your option key, not the command key, the option key, now it actually becomes the copy becomes a little confusing, but the key here is look for that plus, right? If you see the plus, you know, it's a copy. If you don't see the plus, you know, it's a move. You also know if you hold your command key down, you should get a change. If you don't move your finger, just one, one key to the left and hold the option key and it should show up. All right, my friends, I'm going to leave you there. That's a few ways how to move and copy files, files on your Mac. All right, guys, we'll see you uh, Thursday. Yeah, Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's training night. All right, my friends, like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what things you would like to learn, and uh, we'll see if we can do those in a future video. All right, guys, we will see you later.